Hey there! Do you like space? Do you want to play a video game where you take control of an endearing character and hop from adoring planet to planet, exploring its unique and charming surface, all while collecting stars and having a grand adventure? If so, then boy do I have the game for you! I'm of course talking about... Doolu Doobie Star! The Chinese exclusive title that strongly resembles a certain Mario game taking place in a galaxy. Super Mario Sunshine. Boy howdy, it sure looks like we got our hands full today. So, I guess let's just begin. Where do we begin? Well, I guess from the beginning. Super Mario Galaxy, released in 2007 on the Nintendo Wii. The game was loved by many. We once again took control of Mario and ventured into unknown territories. Space. Traveling to all kinds of planets, exploring their surface, meeting new friends and flying all about, new power-ups, new dangers, new everything. Super Mario Galaxy was a huge success, and depending on who you ask, is the best Mario game of all time. So naturally, China got a whiff of that success and thought to themselves, hey, you know what? Mario Galaxy is overrated. I bet we could make our own Mario Galaxy that's way better. And literally, one whole year later in 2008, Dulu Doobie Star was released. One year. It took them 12 months to conceive and create an entire game. Now, normally for an indie developer, that would be really impressive. However, we're not exactly dealing with an indie company here. We're actually dealing with a multi-million dollar company in China named Fanta Wild. Fanta Wild is actually a chain of amusement parks of all things, similar to Disneyland. Also, that logo, I mean, come on, I'm limited to one ripoff per day. My body can't take this much. That fancy looking Disney cursive text with the Magic Kingdom castle in the background. Why are you like this? Anyway, the main mascot of these amusement parks is the lovable blue dinosaur, Doolu Doobie. and his possible girlfriend, the pink dinosaur, Dulu Dooney. So, in layman's terms, Dulu Doobie is essentially China's Mickey Mouse, and in theory, making a game with him as the main character seems like a great idea. I mean, to be honest, I think he's a pretty cute character and could make for a pretty fun video game mascot. So let's go in with a positive attitude. Dulu Doobie Star, the game. It's available online for a great price. Free. Yep, since day one, this game never cost anyone a dime. Or a yen, I don't, I don't know the exchange rate. So the game starts up and... Uh oh. Oh boy. This is... This is definitely something else. The story of the game is... The same exact plot from every Mario game. The love interest gets taken away and we have to rescue them. The game starts us off at the... Well, let's just call it the Comet Observatory. It acts as the home base where we can access the five main galaxies to explore. I won't be talking too much about the game design itself because it's pretty obvious where they got all of their inspiration from. I'm serious, here's what the level select screen looks like. Pretty familiar. Then we're given our specific mission. Once we select it, whoa! I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I've played this game too much today I wanna hide and run away Oh! Dang it, that hurt. Then we're literally just playing Super Mario Galaxy. The stages are all spherical shaped that we could walk around. There's coins and stuff to smash. There's even these little rhino enemies that notice your existence and then take a second to charge up and chase after you. Exactly similar to how the Goombas do in Super Mario Galaxy. This company really excels in the ripping off category. It's kind of incredible with their attention to detail. Here's the bullet bills. Here's the teleporter that shoots you across space. Here's the frickin' spin move! They just didn't care. 
which is so weird. Taking everything into account, this game should be terrible. It should be lambasted and chastised for how lazy its concept is. Dulu Doobie Star should be up there in terrible game infamy. Mega Man! With titles like Action 52, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, or the Zelda CDI games. But the game is pretty good. Mega Man! It's not the best thing I've ever played, but I kind of enjoy it. The controls are surprisingly very solid and responsive. Controlling Dulu Doobie feels really good. His movements are swift, and there's some real weight to him. Visually speaking, the game isn't half bad. This honestly wouldn't look too out of place if released on the Wii. I mean, remember, the Wii also had games that looked like this. The stages are all fairly charming, however, not exactly memorable in the slightest. Most of them look exactly the same, just a big sphere with some grass and water spread throughout. I guess that's just what happens when you make your game in only a year. But still, there is that sense of charm and wonder. The other traditional platforming stages are a little more interesting, and heck, in some parts actually manage to look... good. Like, good good. There really is the potential for a great game here. Unfortunately, it's just overshadowed with its blatant Mario Galaxy inspiration. So, okay, let's try to get to the end of the stage and... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry! Was that barely visible ball of light meant to be the Power Star? <laughs> he even floats around it like Mario before eventually grabbing and going, yeah! yeah! Okay, so we've completed the stage and now it's time for our first boss battle. It's a, uh, it's a... It's a piranha plant. It's Mario's Petey Piranha. Okay, you know what? I, I tried sticking up for this game, but you constantly just be letting me down. To be fair, this Schmeedy Schmarana actually looks kind of intimidating and creepy, and the battle itself is fairly challenging. He swings his head around, smashes his face on the ground like some kind of idiot, and we use that opening to do what else? Jump on his head. Exactly like Link. Well, excuse me. So, hooray! We beat the boss and got the star thing. What now? Do that like 10 more times. Yeah. After the first few stages and initial boss fight, the game loses whatever steam it had going into it. Because now you're just sitting there thinking to yourself, yeah, this is just a more bare bones Super Mario Galaxy ripoff. Not even a bad Super Mario Galaxy ripoff, just a mediocre one. It would be one thing if this game was just absolutely terrible. There'd be more of an interest to play it, because there'd be more things to talk about, more things to make fun of, all of that. Now granted, if I was a kid in China, Dulu Doobie Star would be my jam! I mean, remember, this is a beloved icon of pop culture over there. Dulu Doobie Star is China's best-selling game! Even though, you know, it was free. So for what it's worth, Dulu Doobie Star is a pretty interesting experience. It's not a great game by any means, but if you take into account who he is, the company behind it, and what they tried to do, it makes for a pretty cool story. And I'd be lying if I said that Dulu Doobie Star wasn't at least a little cute. So, there we are. We talked about a Super Mario Galaxy ripoff, created by a Disney Company ripoff, featuring a Spyro the Dragon looking ripoff. What the hell was that? I have no more words.